My favorite art to make is based on found words, often found in the urban landscape, to create sort of found poetry compositions. My name is Tiffany Lin. I'm a visual artist and I specialize in illustration and text-based conceptual art. I would describe my art somewhere in between social engagement and interactive installation. So for more of the conceptual based work, I'm um, interested in how to get people thinking about their identity and as it relates to nation making and the country. Um, but for more social engagement projects, uh, in terms of my involvement with a seat at the table, this is definitely grounded in bringing migrant communities together around different topics, different things we consider universal, and one of which is food and the art of cooking. So living in the Bay Area has influenced my work a lot in terms of the amount of diversity that is here. I was just exposed to lots of different communities, lots of different languages and ways of being. So when I moved to other parts of the United States, it was definitely a bit shocking to see the way other communities might live, not having been exposed to people from just different continents all across the world. A seat at the table it has been pretty successful in bridging lots of difficult conversations, especially in the United States where we are increasingly talking about issues of immigration, of difference, of xenophobia, of hate crimes, unfortunately. Um, and while maybe, you know, on the outset we don't directly address those issues, just because they're, they're kind of sticky and uncomfortable, right? I think using something as universal as food uh, and families is just a really wonderful way to kind of get people thinking about our common humanity. I'm hoping that children and families that attend uh, these events uh, will take away you know, some kind of experience that connects them to a stranger. I mean, I know that sounds maybe a little challenging for children, especially the ones that are shy, um, but being able to articulate something about themselves, their own personal identity through the workshops or the artwork they create here, and then connect it to the experience of a stranger, maybe someone sitting nearby that, oh wow, I use tomatoes in my cooking as well, or I use similar spices, or even something as simple as, I also really like cake. I think um, bridging uh, those conversations using food is really easy and accessible for lots of people to understand. And then I think in other avenues, art will always be something that speaks to personal experience, right? Maybe it's the artist putting their own heart and soul, so to speak, right, um, in visual format, but that ultimately someone seeing it is going to be able to relate, right, that they can see themselves in that artwork and that validation of wherever they may be coming from is really powerful. I think my message to the world is support arts, support artists, and definitely always encourage your children to be themselves. <laughs>